Hello again. Uh, this, I guess, is part two on our making a uh, backup, backup batch script tutorial. So, I already outlined what we want to do. Now, how do we do it? Okay, so the xcopy command. <laughs> In the meanwhile, from the, between the last one and this one, I made a, a, another batch file, which allows me to quickly do the last step of scrolling through the help. Notice last time I found this file in a certain directory, so I just don't want to do that again. Uh, okay, so this was the one that uh, kept it from, keeps it from copying things over again. And we haven't figured out the exclude part yet. And so maybe we should do that first. We know how we know the archive thing a bit. Now how does the exclude thing work? So the first thing I want to do well actually before that, let me just do one more thing. Where does he drop drop? I want to do what I said. I want to take everything from this directory and rebuild it in another subdirectory here. And I would like that subdirectory to have the name of this directory. Okay, so I could, if I wanted to, um, you know, I could say, um, if we figured out the right x copy command, switch in and so on. Then I could say I want to go to uh, the backup directory. Yeah. I could do that. Well, from here, this directory, you can call dot to the destination. Yeah, whoop, whoop. Well, here's the problem. What I want to add here is the name of this directory, which is not in the upper case. Stick with that. And that, this is the command line that we want to write down in our batch script if we can figure out all these switches. So the problem is, how am I going to uh, get this name? Into this, into our batch script. I mean, I could just write this, but then if I want to use my backing up script again for a different folder, I have to make another one, and I have to keep redoing the same thing. So, uh, you recall, well, I haven't made the earlier videos yet, but if you have, this point seen some of the earlier ones, you'll remember that there are some built-in uh, environment variables. And one of them is your current directory. And the way to look at what that value is in a batch script, you do percent cd percent. It doesn't have to it could be everything can be small letters or big letters. Now that will tell you what your current what the current directory is, but if you just type it like that, nothing happens. Well, actually, it did work. It tried to do this, and that's not a command. But if we put this at the end of an echo, and see, there you go. So that's good. <clears throat> we can get our directory, and if we can just somehow figure out how to get the name get rid of this part, because if I do it, if I just use percent cd, where that? Go ahead and type it in. <clears throat> I'll put an invalid word here so to save it. So I figured out all the switches. I know where, where we are. 
We want to go to home backup drop box. And now if I put percent C D here and if you look at what this is, that's what well too bad it won't show me uh, what that comes out I can echo this. See? That's okay, this part's okay, everything else is okay, but it's got this another D colon in it, and that's no good, you can't have that. But, there's no solutions to everything. There's a, there's a thing that allows you to modify these strings slightly, and it's, uh, it's kind of like if you've ever written a program like substring or something or used uh, things like that. substring of a string. There's something like that on here. I think it's colon, wiggle, and then some offset. Zero, one, two, three. So if I start at three, from where I am, from where this thing is, it should work. It worked. See? So it took this. Let me do the two together. See? So, do I want this or do I want that? Do I want this? The point is that. Uh, by putting this little wiggle in this three, it advanced the starting position three uh, to the third spot and the third, the three places over, I should say. If this was zero, we would get what we start what we started with. If this is one, we would get colon and so on. Two would start from the slash, and three starts from where we are. Okay. Well, that's pretty good, except for this one. <laughs> if I try the same thing here, well, it did get rid of this part, which is good. But I don't want this part. All I want is all I want is this part. So how are we going to get just the last bit here? And again, every problem has a solution. There is a way. And to show you. I'm going to make a fresh, just a temporary batch file called T. Oh wow, uh, let's see, uh, I just want a temporary. Go to my temp. And I'm going to make a directory using one of my trip. trip. Remind myself to delete it later. And, uh, could make our t dot bad here. I usually I have a I have a a badge file to speed that process up. Actually it has more than one use. Um okay. So the thing is that I showed you how to get rid of something in the front, right? But in fact we don't even need to use that at all. There is this thing that if you pass a parameter into a batch file, you know the percent one, percent two, and so on, all those things. If it's a path, if this is a path name, you can uh, extract little bits of it. Like you could get the file name or the extension and so on. For instance, uh, and it uses a wiggle too. If I do like this, that will extract the extension as if this were a file name. So if I echo that, and I run my little batch file, T, uh, and just put anything in, and it looks like a path, to be, it doesn't have to exist. You know, this doesn't exist. Hello, there, dot tech. Now, 
uh, first um, problem. So we have to put this in quotes. Actually, maybe I should just show you why this is not why there's a problem here. It almost worked, but um, echo percent wiggle x. It didn't well. It didn't work at all. I don't know why it didn't work at all. But the thing is, I put it in quotes. It should work. should find that there, there is, yeah, there you go. It found the extension of this file name. Okay? That's it. So that actually, we don't want the extension. All we want is if we uh, type in this directory, d temp del me, we just want del me, or any direct directory. So, and for that, it happens to be n. Okay, I'll show you later how to find out what all these, where to get all these letters and symbols. Let's try this, what we just did, and there you go. That's what we want. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so that's it. Essentially, the problem is solved. And maybe we can. Uh, well. It's not completely solved, I should say. We're not done yet. In fact, we're, all, we're, we're almost there. We're halfway done. I passed that into here, right? But when we're in our little batch script, uh, we got to get, get that out of percent CD. But I can't put a percent CD here. No. But again, there's always an answer for every problem a solution. And for every solution, there's a problem. And this is an example of a problem. So this is the, the second type. This is of the second variety. Let me make another directory and make it have spaces. It's the worst case scenario. Bad case of directory madness. Actually, there's even a worse case than this. But let's assume that we don't put um, an extension in our directory name. I guess we could fix that too. Anyway. anyway, now T. T has gone away. Uh, I'll bring it up here. Bring T to dot. There it is. And you'll notice it's gone from down there. No T. Okay. Uh, now I was going to say that there is no solution to that problem, but there is. NX should work. Should do it. This includes both name and extension. Let me just make sure. I'm going to make an even worse case scenario. Your with x only spaces in here. So our directory name has spaces and an extension and everything. And if I pass if, uh, what I want to do now, yeah, so I'll just actually make it work without passing anything in. Okay, so our problem here is we want CD and we want to do this to it, but we can't because it's not one of these one, two, three things. And the way to solve that is to call, we can call ourselves and use CD as a parameter. So what we do is we do call, and instead of calling the file, putting the file name t.bat, which we could do, instead we can call just a label inside this file by putting a colon there. And I'm going to give the label a name. In the end, that label is going to do the copying. I'll call it 
We'll do magic. Do magic trick. So that's what this is. Trick. Put a poem because it's a label. And this is what we want to do in our magic trick. And now, at this point, after we call that thing, it's going to get to the end of the file. We can even force it to do so. And we should in all of these things. Then it's going to come back here. And all we got to do is skip over this thing and we're done. So we got to go get out of here too. So, here's our file. So we take CD. And CD doesn't have quotes, so we've got to put quotes. That'll come in here. Now it's turned into a percent one thing, and we can use our magic. This will get rid of the quotes and just um, extract from what it sees, what it thinks is a file. Uh, because there won't be a slash at the end, it'll interpret our, our directory name as a file name, and this will include both the name and the extension. And it should echo the durwithx dot durwith dot x. Okay. Now let's try it. T. There it is. Now the only difficulty with all this is it's almost impossible to follow what's going on um, but if you do if you do if you look closely here is where I actually this is where I did the typing here is the rest of it there's the call uh, with all this mess here to a label and the label did echo uh, just the, what it thought was the file name and extension of the file. And to make sure that it's everything's okay, we've got to make sure that uh, it works here. And I guess I can just, just run it directly. Here. Bad case of directory madness. Here I ran the T, which is actually up in the other directory from before, but that's okay, you can run it from anywhere. And it extracted this. It didn't include an extension because there is none. So that we don't want to lose that T. Let's go back to where we were. Okay. So now. We're ready to start, almost ready to start making our script. Now think of the name for our script. Mm -hmm. well, what I can do is move this t dot back to that dot batch directory. And the name for our backup, my backup dot back. That's the name of our we already exist, so I already have them. Mm. Delete. I don't delete it. I know because it's the same as I was trying this before, I used the same name. It's okay for me to delete. I know it's nothing. Uh, just do this. And go over to the back directory. Make sure that it's there. Okay, here's our magic. And what we want this thing to do now is our backup. First off, uh, well, maybe we should stop it here. But that's actually a lot. It's turning into a long, longer than I thought it would be. A longer tutorial than I thought it would be. Um, so I'll, I'll stop here. Now you've learned a couple things. You want to call inside a batch file, how to fiddle around with these strings, uh, you know, environment variables, extracting strings, and, uh, and that's quite a bit. So I'm going to split it up yet again. And we'll have a part three. Okay.
So I'll see you in part three.